right, so today, um, today we're taking a train from Moscow to St. Petersburg. And uh, me and Ksusha are gonna be spending, I think four days there, right? Yeah. We'll spend about four days there. Um, Ksusha's behind the camera. Hey uh, guys. <laughs> and, um, and then I think we're going to go back to Moscow and hang out. Um, but I wanted to show you guys what a train car was like in, in Russia. Um, for the past few weeks I've been on, this will be my fifth, and I'm taking two more trains in Russia. So I thought I had to show you what, uh, what a train was like in Russia. Um, so when you come in the train car, um, you have to show them, you have to find your car, and we're car number 12, and you show them your ticket, or you show them your passport, and then they check to make sure you're in that car, and this is the right train. And then you walk down a hallway, and at the end of the hallway, there's a bathroom. At the beginning of the hallway, there's a bathroom. There's an area you can buy food. I'll get some pictures and stuff of that in a second. And then we're actually at the last car or the last uh, little compartment. And so you'll walk into this compartment here and then you can close the door if you want. Um, it's got this big old mirror. You can see Xuxia. <laughs> and then you can lock if you want. Um, and then you have, let's show you around. So you have, um, so she's just sitting on one of the seats and then they have these little light things. You can turn these on and off. Um, they work. Um, you can hang up your clothes here. If you're on trying to go to higher bunk, you can open up one of these guys. These are like stair steps to help uh, if you can't just jump up. Um, they have a nice little window these little compartments you want to show them inside here so in here you can hide stuff or put like your phone um if you get one of these rooms if you get like four tickets for one of these rooms these turn into beds so you can fold these down yeah and that you can hang up like a little towel or something in there um and then the last one opens up as well yeah it's just the same um is there outlets down here i know on top I'll show you in a second, but up there they have these little plugs um, where you can plug in. You can plug in your phone or charge your camera or whatever. And then we have also these little things and you can close those. There's some more storage up there. Um, sometimes there's a TV here. Not always. You can hang up your, your clothes and stuff over here. Um, and it's the same over here, which have some of our stuff stored. And then these guys actually turn into beds, like I was saying earlier. So these turn into beds, which is kind of cool. So you can turn that into a bed, um, and you can have four people in here, but we're not using them, so we're keeping them as chairs. And then underneath here, they have actually outlets where you can plug in your, uh, charge your laptop or whatever. But um, most of our stuff can charge the USB, so we're pretty set. And we have a few snacks, just some water, chips, gum, some meat. Um, I think it was some chocolate or something. But yeah, it's pretty chill. We're at a stop right now. Um, but yeah, if you guys want to see more videos, <laughs> uh, if you want to see more videos about, um, about Russia, definitely subscribe, um, hit that like, and comment and um, I, don't know, I don't think I have anything else to tell you guys but I'm going to be in Eastern Europe for the next few months and then um, cross my fingers I'm hoping that um, I have a second passport in the mail and I'll show you guys when I get both passports I'm trying to get two valid used passports and I'll definitely make a video about that um, but as long as that comes through then I can stay in Europe um, hopefully for six months plus in the Schengen zone and I'll make a video explaining the Schengen zone and how long your passport is good for there but until then I'm gonna be staying in countries in Europe that are outside of the Schengen zone um, until I find out if I have two passports because I can find out if I can stay in Europe for six months or longer anyway guys it's been NST never stop traveling peace out so you want to say bye Susha. Bye bye. <laughs>